Hi, everybody. I'm going to show you how you can embed CSS into Google Sites. Now, ordinarily, Google Sites doesn't let you edit the CSS directly, but um, there is a little trick that you can use, little known fact. You can embed CSS within a snippet of HTML code. So uh, on the screen now, I've got my example, and um, this is an HTML snippet that uh, within the head tag, you can embed uh, as much CSS as you want, pretty much. So I have a few examples. Uh, first of all, I have a reference to call the Google font API uh, for the specific typeface that I want, which in this case is bitter. Um, and then I also want to uh, include some formatting for the text. Uh, so I have um, a couple of lines of, of code that are specifying, for example, that I want it to appear in the center of this image and uh, that I want the color to be black. And then um, for the division class, I have uh, some layout options and um, there's my bitter font again. And of course, it's always a good idea to have backup font options. So I have times listed and then serif uh, listed. So, you know, the browser will try to fill in some other font in case the Google font doesn't work for some reason. Um, font weight is bold, text duration is underline, and I chose a size of 30 pixels. So again, all of these things can be uh, customized by you. Um, I'm using a text editor, by the way, called playcode.io. It's a free text editor that works in your browser. And what I like about this one is it gives you a preview of what you're looking at down here in the website view. Now, um, as far as the actual HTML code, so once you close that style tag, then you go to the body of your um, HTML snippet, and this is where you actually have your HTML code. And um, I took this image from the Google site that I already used, and a little, little trick that I used was I went to developer tools to find the actual um, link or the actual address of this image. This image was already placed here by somebody else who was working on the website. And basically that person asked me, hey, can we float this, uh, can we overlay this text rather? Can we overlay this text over the image? So in order to find that image, um, in my Google Chrome browser, I just go to more tools and developer tools, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Shift I. And uh, basically, you just have to look for it. You have to open up these little uh, things, these little <laughs> pop-out menus, and just uh, keep looking until you find the image that you're looking for. And then you can right-click, and you can click uh, Copy Image URL. And uh, then that's where I got it from. When I copied the image URL, that's when I was able to go over. Let's see, where did I go for that? There it is. And I basically just copied and pasted it. Um, this works for me. Uh, however, if it doesn't work for you, another option would be you can use the URL for any image that's published on the internet. So if this image, for example, were published on some other web page or some other web ser server that was publicly available, you could just link to it directly there. Um, you shouldn't do that without permission. And you have to be careful when you do that because you know somebody else's web page may not be up forever. So then someday without warning, the picture may not be available to you anymore because that web page may get rid of it. Um, but uh, anyway, that's that's another way that you can uh, that you can okay. maybe uh, put the image there because you can't just copy and paste it um, into your uh, into your Google site. Okay, so this is where I actually have this, the text itself. And um, yeah, so again, when this looks the way I want it to, I can make adjustments if I need to. Like for example, if I don't like the underline, I can change that line of CSS and just delete it or maybe comment it out. And then when it updates, I see what it looks like with it's not underlined. And um, I'll just put it back because that's what I actually want. And then when you're done, when you've got it looking exactly the way you want, you just simply highlight the entire snippet and hit copy, and then you go back to your website. Right, where did it go? There it is. And I'll close my developer tools. And now I just want to create a new embed. And uh, this is another little Easter egg in Google Sites when you click on embed code. It says embed code, but it doesn't have to be an embed code. You can put like any HTML code you want. Um, so then I'm just gonna hit paste, hit next, and there we go. Gives me a nice little view of what I'm looking at. And now I'm gonna replace this blank image with the one that I created with my HTML. And you just play with the formatting a little bit, play with the layout a little bit. 
I can get rid of that. And now it looks the way I want. So now I can hit publish and everybody will see the new web page. And uh, one of the things I like about Google Sites is when you click the push publish button, now it gives you a before and after before you hit the publish button. So you can really see what the changes will look like. And then you can preview it as you normally, as you probably should, and just see what it looks like on other screen sizes and screen formats. This is cell phone. There's a tablet. And then this, of course, would be the view from a large screen like a PC or a laptop. So hope you found this information helpful. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or comments. Thanks a lot.